So one of my favorite research endeavors at the moment is basically trying to take learning management systems that have historically been sort of a single product and you'd buy it from one vendor and you'd complain about a feature missing and then you'd like wait a year and get that feature and then you complain about another feature but to sort of unbundle that so that it's not really one product but a set of services. What you really want with services is that they can come from multiple vendors and so you want to buy part of your learning management system from one vendor part of your learning management system from another vendor and then you want them to plug together and the problem is, is if you leave it to the vendors to plug things together they invent techniques for plugging that that are to their greatest advantage and so IMS learning tools interoperability is an effort that I've been working on since 2005 and it is a standard that tells both parties how to plug into each other and so IMS learning tools interoperability is like the plumbing that makes so many things possible in teaching and learning technology. And so it is indeed like a simple standard screw that itself is not amazing and yet enables so many amazing things. So one of the things that we did in IMS Learning Tools and Interoperability was we created a standard that was really tiny. It was imperfect, it was, it was incomplete, it was flawed, and and yet it was wildly adopted and as soon as it was adopted everyone started yelling we need more standards we need more standards and so now we're adding more standards and so we learned something about how you change the marketplace through standards and that is you can't make the standard too difficult or too complex or hard to understand so it's almost it's better to ship something that's imperfect that creates a desire for more than to try to ship the perfect thing. And all I can imagine if this hadn't happened is that we would still be just using terrible products to do teaching and learning and have no hope for any kind of, you know, fun, innovation, crazy, gamification, whatever. Uh, now everything's possible. Everything's possible in teaching and learning technology that just wasn't before.